Hello everyone, what's up? This is Corey Lynx, and I'm here to talk about a couple of things today. Um, first, uh, something that happened last night, crazy ass night out in Atlanta. And second of all, this user that um, Juno's Den mentioned and made a video about a while back, uh, his screen name is No Cat Bullshoot First in all caps, and he's like some conservative dude who just went off talking about how gay people need to keep their mouths shut and stay out of the military and how can. Uh, liberals are ruining America, <laughs> and something like that. Um, he sent me a couple of messages after I commented on his channel. But first of all, about last night, I went to Jungle with my friend Eric and um, saw a couple of people there that I know, and um, some pretty sketchy shit happened. <laughs> I ended up dancing with this like really skinny Latin dude. He was like Cuban or something. And he gave me a few sips of his drink, and like an idiot, I was drunk. And when I'm drunk, just like everybody else, I tend to do stupid shit. And so I took a couple of sips of it, and I started choking because there was powder in it. I think he had put roofies in that drink. And luckily, Eric comes up and intervenes. He's just like, don't do that. Sip that dude's drink. Are you crazy? And, um, well, he didn't say, are you crazy? But he stopped me from doing it advised against it, luckily, and I started coughing so bad and I had to spit up on the dance floor because I was just like, whoa, whatever was in there, it didn't agree with my throat at all. So I had to cough it up. And this dude's like all over me wanting to take me home, and so I just run. We ran out of there. I closed my tab and I got the hell out. But that's just another crazy not a jungle. I think I actually get a kick out of it. I mean, no harm done. I'm okay. I was awake until 5 o'clock in the morning playing on Facebook and watching TV. And um, then there's this other guy, he was like Italian, and um, uh, he said that it was his first time in a gay club. And so we were talking, we were having a chill conversation. He actually saw me texting somebody something kind of raunchy and um, happened to come over me and mention that he saw it. And he was just like, yeah, I see a lot of sexual stuff around here, but... We were just chatting, and this guy comes up, and I guess he was, like, interested in him or something like that, and he started acting real cunty about it, and he was just like, yeah, uh-huh, and kind of looked at me and brushed me off. I started talking to the guy, and I'm just like, well, I didn't really want to take the guy home anyways, so you didn't have to be defensive, but whatever. It's just Atlanta bitches and cunts and the way they like to act. I don't really care. I don't really get involved in all that shit anyways. If a man wants me, they know where to find me. So, anyways, back to this, uh, no-cat shit guy. <laughs> so this guy's wearing these huge glasses, and he's on YouTube talking all this shit about how liberals are bad and stuff like that. So I, I sent him a message on his page first. I'm just like, you know, America is a... You're surrounded by... That was one of his videos from the Texas Tea Party. Um, talking about how... Well, he deleted my comments, actually. Coward. And I told him, you know, America is a melting pot of all different types of cultures and stuff like that. There's really no need to uh, be this hateful. And so he sends me a message, and he's just like, you are a vulgar, vulgar little punk. And, and I'm just like, excuse me, there's no need to be disrespectful to me like that. Um, going through my sent messages here, and for some reason they're not showing up recently. Okay, screw YouTube, they're stupid. But yeah, he's just like, he calls me a vulgar little punk, and I'm just like, uh, it don't, there's no need for you to be disrespectful towards me like that, dude. Because I'm trying to be very civil and very nice about the whole thing. And he's just like, it starts sending me all these videos like about America is turning into a communist nation, uh, the Alaska Tea Party, Arizona Tea Party, and Keith Oberman's State of the Union. Uh, it's just... It's, just it's, uh, the guy is just off his rocker. He's one of these older, retired, 50 to 70-something conservatives that just rants and raves about how gays are bad, how illegal immigration is bad, and how... Uh, socialized health care is bad and just hate, hate, hate and vile, vindictive negativity coming out of his mouth. That's all that he shows. And it's really sad that these people in their last years are suffering so much stress due to their opposition to current politics and anything that 
represents a progressive, uh, a progressive movement in society. Anything new and unusual, they just hate it. They want to fight against it. it makes them angry. They get all pumped up about it. I just don't know anymore. I'm glad to be a rational, sane-minded person when it comes to politics, I'll tell you that much right now. Because I'm not going to sit here and cuss at somebody and get all agitated because somebody has a differing viewpoint. Unless they're a bigot. And in that case, well, of course I'm going to get worked up about it because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a damn bigot who, can, who is ignorant as hell and just runs their mouth and makes themselves look like more and more of an idiot by the second. So... Crazy nights in Atlanta. I'm going back out tonight. Um, this uh, a friend of mine. I actually went to middle school with him at this private school down in Snellville, Georgia, way, way back in the day. And um, he's moving to Orlando with his boyfriend, and they're having a little party down at this uh, bar called Amsterdam in Atlanta tonight. So I'm going to go down there, and then who knows what I'll get into afterwards. There's something going on in the jungle. Some DJ and model is coming. But of course, they clubs in Atlanta, they like to promote uh, DJs, but... You know, nobody goes there. People that go there don't even give a shit about the DJ. They just dance and get drunk, and the DJ just stays up in their booth. They're really not recognized for much. So that's what's going on, and I guess I will see you guys later in the next video. And I hope everybody had and continues to have a fantastic weekend. And if you get pulled over, just suck the cop off, and they won't give you a DUI. Trust me. <laughs> I'm just playing. Y'all don't drink and drive. Um, that's it. Have fun.